Oh, how do you buy farmland? We've talked about how to get farmland for free, but how do you buy farmland if you want to own it, you want it to be yours, you want to buy it? How do you do that exactly? So there's a couple different ways. Obviously, you can save up your own money. You can get a conventional loan, such as an FHA loan, where you put 3.5% down. Um, you buy in your first house, whatever. There's obviously typical mortgages, but how would you do it in a farm sense? What's a different way that you can do it that is, makes more sense for farmers, since farmers need land? Uh, you also might want to buy a house with it, but your main goal right now is to just get some land that you can be on. So there's a couple different resources that you have. One of the first and most valuable resources that you can have is called the FSA, which is the Farm Service Agency. And the Farm Service Agency is a branch of the USDA. And obviously this only applies if you're in America, if you're in other countries, look at your, um, your farm agency and see what programs they have, see if they have any government programs to help beginning farmers get into. But you wanna look into the FSA, which is a sub-agency of the USDA. You should be able to find it Google Farm Service Agency and you should be able to find it and from there you can find their different types of loans. This is going to be your easiest way to get into what they call a beginning farm loan and what that is is a farm loan for a beginning farmer. Um, a lot of them do need some experience so you might need to start somewhere on rented land just to get some experience or they also have another requirement of you have a mentor which you could look into if you can find a farmer that does something similar to what you do or even me if we can figure out a way that i can mentor you we'd have to figure it out um, you can reach out to me on my website and contact me and see if we can figure something out for that but if you can get a mentor for your farm then you can get access to some of these loans. So one of the first loans that you can get access to is a micro loan through the FSA. And that's one that you need a mentor to. And that's up to $50,000. So you can get a micro loan for an ownership loan and for an operating loan. So for an ownership, you're gonna need to have at least three years of experience. And how you do that, how you label that is through your taxes. Um, I will have more videos detailing exactly how to do all that. I also have a course showing you exactly how to do it in case you need help to fill out anything. But um, you do that, you have to have three years to do your farm ownership loan. But for a farm operating loan, which is what they call it, is for your operating expenses. So you can get up to $50,000 with virtually no experience um, if you have a mentor. If you have some experience, like business experience, you've done an internship or internship or apprenticeship, um, that can also count. You need to talk to, each loan officer is a little different, so you need to talk to them and see exactly what they think uh, the requirement is for that. That's the best way to find out. You can call the FSA and they will connect you to your local branch and you can figure that out. So you need a farm operating loan. And what that is, that'll give you operating uh, capital to start your farm for your expenses. So you'll need a business plan, you'll need to lay out exactly, I need this much money for seed, I need this much money for fertilizer, this much money for this and that, uh, this much money to rent land. That's how you get your operating loan. For, to, buy a, to buy the actual farm, you need at least three years of experience and it needs to be documented through your taxes. And then you can qualify for a farm loan that is 0% down up to $300,000 to get your farm. That's how I got this farm here is I got it through a farm loan and we actually got it with zero money down. And it's a 40 year loan. So you have to figure out exactly all the ins and outs of that. I will have more videos on that. But yes, a zero down up to $300,000. But you have to have three years of documented farm experience. And there's, there's a whole lot of ways, but the main way they want that is through your taxes. So you can look into that, you can check that out. That's one of the easiest, simplest ways to get in buying farmland 
with zero down, um, you obviously need to start somewhere on rented land, such as like you could start with an operating lawn as we talked about, get you rented land, do that for three years, and then move up and buy land with the actual ownership loan. So if you guys like this video, let me know. I'll have more like this going more into details about these loans, different kind. There's also private loans for farms, such as farm credit, but you won't have access to that until later or unless your credit or your income is very well. So I'll make more, more videos on that. If you like this, please like, subscribe, check out my other videos, check out my playlist on how to farm, how to make money farming, and also check out my courses down below. Thanks guys.